Monarch butterflies are at risk of becoming extinct. So what can we do to prevent this from happening? Well, Pat Flanagan, CEO of Butterfly Farms in Encinitas, is joining us live this morning. Pat, thank you for being here. Of course, thanks for having me. And, and so we have a floral director here. She says the monarch butterfly is her favorite. What is causing the loss in these butterflies? Well, that's an interesting question. And honestly, there isn't a single answer. It's something that has been uh, much debated and much discussed. But the, the truth of it is we don't know exactly what's happened. But we do know that modern butterfly population in North America has declined. Um, in, on the Western United States, 99.9%, although we did see a slight rebound last year. Uh, the numbers of either it's one of the most studied insects or if not the most studied mm -hmm. insect on the planet so we data and data the data suggests i don't know about it i don't know that i would go that far but i that um it's been the declining population as long as i've been involved in it over two decades and there's a, there's a reason why we should all you know be concerned about this perhaps because they're not just beautiful they're also important pollinators so how does this impact our local environment if they're on the decline i mean i would hard it would be hard to say you know put your finger on one particular thing it's just i think it's iconic you know it's something that we all see we all relate to um we see thousands tens of thousands of visitors here and i've never had anybody not recognize monarch butterfly. So for us, it's really the poster child of the whole insect world, which we're studying for a long time. And we know that there's declining populations in, in, the, in the whole of the insect colonies. And so monarchs are really the poster child of that. So um, to say, you know, if we were to lose our monarch population here in San Diego, I think what it would do is be a very um, symbolic uh, loss. Hmm. Well, what can we do to help our local pollinators thrive then? Well, there's really, I mean, get, get you know, get informed. Uh, you could care we're open seven days a week from 10 to 4. Myself and my, it's my two kids that work here. They've been involved in it for, you know, over a decade. There, there's a lot of knowledge here. Okay, Pat, and, and real quick, tell us real quick about the Butterfly Farms. Is this open to the public if we want to come and visit? Yes, ma'am. We're open every day, 10 to 4 at 441 Saxony Road in Encinitas. Okay, perfect. And the Butterfly Free Flight House open through November 15th. By the way, the information is right there on your screen. And we do want to thank you, Pat, for joining us this morning. Thank you so much. Thanks for having me. Have a great day. Of course. For more information on anything we just spoke about, you can go to our website, fox5sandigo.com, and click the Scene On tab.